Now, about five years ago, yeah, I think it was about five years, I lived downtown in a major city in the U.S. Now, I've always been a night person, so a lot of times I find myself bored, you know, after my roommate, who was not a night person at all, went to sleep. So to pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend time thinking and stuff. And, you know, we still in downtown. Downtown got some rough parts, but it got some good parts. You just got to know where to go, man, you know. Now, you got to know, don't go down that street because that's the street where uh, there's some certain folks who need money and stuff. And uh, so they're going to get that money. If you come down that street, they're going to ask for it the first time. And if you don't get it, they gonna the second time they ain't gonna ask for it, man. So you know, that's what I go. I like to go out and do. And I spent four years like that, walking alone at night, and never once I really had a reason to feel afraid, cause like I said, I knew where to go. Now I always used to joke with my with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were nice, you know, cause um you know, it's just it's just about the way you carry yourself, man. So, you know, if I did come across somebody you know, I knew, I look them in the eye, and I nod my head at them, and they look me in the eye, and that looking folk in the eye, that's how you let them know, like, you know, hey, <laughs> you know, you might be about it, but I'm about it too now, you know. So anyway, but all of that changed, like, just a, f- a few minutes. It only took a few minutes. It's crazy how your whole life can just change in, like, a few minutes, man. It was on a Wednesday. It was something like 1 or 2 in the morning, and I'm walking around this park where 12 be riding around all the time. Now, um, you know, and it was a it was a quiet park, you know, and it was um, a little bit away, away from my apartment or whatever. And it was a quiet night, like always, and, you know, it was a weeknight, but it was real quiet. It was like, it, I know the weeknights usually quiet, but it was super quiet, man. And it was, you know, very little traffic. And almost nobody on foot but me. Now, the park, you know, like it is most nights, was completely empty or whatever. So I turned down this little short side street, a little cut through or whatever, and I was going to loop back around to my apartment. And that's when I first noticed this guy. Now, at the far end of the street, on my side, I could see, like, the shape of a man. And he was, like, dancing. And it was a weird dance. It was like one of them old, old school, like them uh, old European king queen ballroom type dances thing. And uh, and but he finished each like uh, like every little step. You know how they do that that um, that step one at a time or whatever. And it, it, every step, you know, he'd do like a a strad like towards me kind of like he was skiing or something almost and it was like a dance walk and he coming straight at me man now i'm thinking you know he probably drunk and um i got close to the road or whatever to give up the sidewalk so i can let him go ahead and pass by now the closer he got the more i realized like how like gracefully this guy was moving man and he was real tall and lanky, man, and wearing his real old type suit, man. Now he dancing closer until I could finally make out his face. Now his eyes was wide open. Like, you know, like <laughs> like man, like this guy must have been off all kind of Molly or something, man, cause his eyes was wide open. I ain't never seen nobody eyes out. They had to be super dry because they was just open to the max, man. And um, and it's like, and his head was tilted back a little bit, and uh, he was looking off at the sky, really, man. And his mouth was like had this big wide cartoon type smile on it, man. Like this guy was a real life Joker, man. And between the eyes and the smile, I said, man, I'm going to cross the street before this guy got any closer to me. Because he was headed to me, but he wasn't really, like, uh, you know, he was looking up. So I said, maybe he don't see me. Let me go ahead and cross the street. 
Now, I took my eyes off him across the empty street. And when I get up to the other side, I look back. And, boy, I stopped dead up in my tracks, man. This man had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street, pointed straight at me. Now, he was facing me, but he's still looking up in the sky. Still got that big crazy smile on his face. Now, I was completely, I wasn't no good at this point, man. Like, you know, I, I was basically like just a big, big jelly man at this point, man. I, I dang that fell when I seen that, man. But I kept my eyes up on him, though. Now, he ain't moved. Now, once I had put about half a block between us, you know, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me, and the street and the sidewalk ahead of me was completely empty. Now, I'm still jacked up, and I looked back to where he had been standing and seen he was gone. Now, for a quick little second, I felt like relief, man. I felt, you know, just <sighs> relief, man. And then I noticed him again. He had crossed the street, and now he was, like, slightly, like, crouched down. Just a little bit. And I could tell for sure, you know, like, I couldn't really tell, you know, because he was um kind of far away and, you know, it's nighttime, so it's shadows and stuff. But I was sure he was facing me, though. Now, I looked away from him for no more than 10 seconds. So it was clear, you know, that... This guy had moved super fast, man. Now, I was shocked, so I stood there for a little bit, and I'm just staring at him. Then he started moving towards me. He took big, crazy, ex ex over-exaggerated tiptoe steps, man, like a big cartoon character sneaking up on somebody. Except he was moving quick, man. Like, you know, like, this man, <laughs> he was stroking it, man. Now, at this point... You know, I like to say I ran away or pulled out some pepper spray or the cell phone or anything at all like that, but I didn't. I just stood there just completely frozen as this smiling man crept towards me. And then he stopped again about a car length away from me, still smiling that smile and still looking to the sky. And at this point, I'm like, I can't run because I obviously ain't finna, I run this guy the way he moving. So I figure, you know, we just finna, I guess we just gonna have, I have to go and deal with this. Uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and throw down with him and just hope he don't kill me, man. And when I finally found my voice, the first thing that came to my mind, I just said it, man. And I meant to ask him, like, what do you want? In a real angry type, you know, way, but. Only thing that came out was, what? You know, real stupid like that. What? And then after what felt like forever, he turned around real slow and started dancing, walking away, just like that. Now, I ain't want to turn my back to him again. So I just watched him go, like, far enough away until he was almost out of sight, man. And then I realized something. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't going away no more. He was, he wasn't dancing. And I watch, and I'm just in pure horror, man, because I see the shape of him getting bigger and bigger, and I realize he coming back. But this time, that man was moving, boy, was from Usain Bolt type stuff, man. So that I started running, because I'm like, he ain't just running from that. First, he was dancing. But he ain't, he ain't there. He running now, so he finna get ready to throw down, man. So now at this time, I ran until I was off the side road and back onto the the road with all the um the lights and stuff, and it had you know a couple of little traffic, man. Now I'm looking behind me, and of course he nowhere to be found, man. And the rest of the way home, I kept looking over my shoulders, expecting to see that stupid smile, but he was never there. And I lived in that city for six months after that night, and I never went out for another walk. And there was something about his face that always just haunted me, man. You know, it, like he, he didn't look drunk, he didn't look high, but he just looked 
straight insane, man. To hold a smile that long. And what kind of jaw muscles, what kind of face muscles it take to, to even smile like that? It's a smile that you don't never want to see. Ha 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 ha!